Hey guys, welcome. Rick Macy Tennis Center, South Canada Regional Park. A lot of action. We got the $25,000 PTT going on. It's unbelievable. So many kids here from Rafael Nadal Academy, people from New Zealand, all around the world. 60 kids with the, with the academy this morning. So all the courts are buzzing. But right now, I'd like to back the truck up, okay, and talk a little bit about taking a negative and turning a positive. I'm here with John Polly, okay? 5.62 UTR, age nine, okay? Yes, age nine. Uh, one of the best nine-year-olds I've ever coached in my career. Okay, very talented, huge upside. Uh, but back in December, he hurt his knee a little bit. So instead of unplugging, what we did, we kind of reverse engineered everything. We took a negative, turned it into a positive. I rewired the whole forehand, went really deep into the ATP forehand microscopically broke it down bit by bit by bit but we couldn't do a lot of running same with the backhand on the backhand he used to be a one-handed player we switched to a two-hander just because i want more authoritative returns and be able to attack the short ball okay the guy has amazing hands and feel but the message is we took a negative because you can't run around and we turned it a positive and what's crazy i really felt the time that he was off the court and we spent a lot of time together watching video, okay, breaking all his strokes down and kind of putting Humpty Dumpty together. He improved more without really hitting a lot of balls than sometimes playing a tournament every weekend. So there's a lot of meat on the bone there for any coach, okay, if you can put this thing together. But here we go, he's nine years old, bright future. Watch this guy hit the ball. He's textbook on both sides. But that really came together when he was injured, and instead of unplugging, we took a negative, turned into a positive, really went into the biomechanics of the stroke. Watch John, one of the best players in the country, if not the best, nine years old, hit these ground strokes. Let's go. Bang! 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 Good, great focus, good balance. Good. Pop the corner. Pop the corner. Out of boy. Out of boy. Good. Way to turn it over. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about the forehand. What we did when he moved here from Chicago, he used to hit the ball with the elbow in. What I did is the next, next, next gen. Okay. Instead of here and there, I kind of inverted the elbow so the racket was away from the body. He has great rhythm and flow on the forehand, and he's always had good feel. So, not only did I change the mechanics, he already had the feel. So now I got the daily double. I got optimal racket speed. His contact point never deviates, unless you don't move your feet. All right, the contact point never changes. But you can see, even at nine years old, world-class forehand, then it's a matter of how to use it. So I love his forehand, but I like his T-shirt even more. Now we're gonna go to the backhand. All right, that. Good. Pull to right, you're gonna push to the left. Pull, push. Pull, push. Pull, push. This guy's on fire. Now, he used to be a one-handed player when he came here. Not that it was bad, and it's not that I don't love one-handed backhand, but I just saw more of a liability, and I knew at a young age I could start from scratch, but it takes two to tango. It takes someone with a great attitude, guy's one of the hardest workers here you got to be willing to change it's a junior development not junior final destination but if you look at his backhand okay there's no crazy bubble loop his right arm is straight his left elbow is bent the racket head is above he pulls with the right he pushes with the left okay he's not making some excessive movement because at the end of the day by the time he plays pro tennis the average speed might be 100 miles an hour Okay, so the moral of the story, the takeaway with this video, we took a negative, turned it into a positive, positive. He was already a very, very good player, but he improved more, okay, by studying, looking at video, going step by step, kind of taking it one step back to take a lot of step forward. I'm gonna tell you, this guy's the real deal.